Okay, this is a Massey Ferguson 265. You got that all in there, Ben? Mm -hmm. Okay, 265. On the right side is where you prime the pump. Shows the hose with the direction. One comes from the tank. One comes from, uh, goes up to the rail. Okay, we have uh, tried to prime this before and it's not working. It used to, but that was years ago. So we're going to start it by another means. All right, let's go around to the other side, man. Okay. All right. The way that uh, this works is you have a key at ignition to 12 volts. The 12 volts, can you see this, man? No, you don't have to get close. Just see it. Yeah. Okay. 12 volts goes in to uh, crank over the uh, starter. So what we're doing, we've got to make sure of a couple of things. First of all, Come here, you need to be in neutral, okay? And this right here needs to be in neutral, and this runs through a switch on the other side to make sure that uh, you're not in gear so it won't move forward. Next thing I wanna do is I always do, it's a habit, we got oil. So with that, I'm gonna hook in a jumper wire, and I usually just have this and run it to the battery. But since I don't have that, what I'm going to do is connect it up to the place where the starter switch would be. I'm going to make sure the starter switch is on for electrics. I have this OTC starter switch right here that I have going to this point here and that's not a good sign. Just go ahead and stop the recording. All right, the OTC comes with the light. I was going to the wrong side. This is to the battery. So now it should crank over when I push the button. Okay, very good. So now Ben's gonna hold this. And the reason we're doing what we're doing is we made sure the tracker didn't move. Edit. This is not advised. I pulled out the element so I could get some starting fluid in. Okay. Starting fluid. Poor old girl. Okay. So this can be a one-man operation. So go back so you can film it all, Ben. Ready? Don't. Okay, bad can of start, uh... Ah! All right, this is not making me happy. All right, so... Go ahead and stop the recording.
been running for maybe uh, 10 minutes now, and I'm going to check the voltages with the uh, with my fluke meter, 88V. Ben's going to go over there with me, and then we're going to take a look at the clock assembly and see how that is. So step one, because we're running over here. Are you recording? Yeah. Come here so you can see it recording. You recording? One of the features of this meter is a min-max function. And you hear it beeping because it, it records and goes down. Every time it goes lower, it beeps. We've charged the battery. We're at 13.35. Uh, and what I'm going to do is to start it so we can see kind of how good that battery may be. Here we go. Start the tractor. I guess I'm not. It didn't start because I had it in gear. The high-low was set. Mm. Okay, that being said, what I'm going to do here now is we're going to hit min-max. Higher up. Film the 13. Here you go. 13.85 was the high. 9.9 .9 was the low, which is a little low. So the battery is, uh, is getting weak and will be changed here later in the summer. Because we do have a jump pack and these things pretty much do a lot of sitting around. All right, come over this way, Ben. I thought I saw something here. Come around, Ben, please. I saw fuel. You see fuel? It's not coming from above, it's coming right out of here. So I have to read up on that. There may be something loose. But right now we're not leaking at all. We change this valve. Ben, can you see the valve from underneath or not? See the yeah. valve? Yeah. Okay. Got a picture of it? Yeah. So that was the valve. That was the valve we uh, changed out. All right. Go ahead and stop recording, sir. 